dehydrohalogenation of alkyl halides is an elimination reaction. So here in this reaction, if you react alkyl halide with the potassium hydroxide, KOH, in alcoholic medium, in the alcoholic medium, hydroxide ion acts as a strong base, so therefore it takes a proton from the beta carbon. This is our alpha and this is our beta carbon. And then, you know, this hydrogen is lost here with the hydroxide and then this, you know, chlorine is also eliminated and you get a carbon-carbon double bond. So that means you get an alkene. When you react the alkyl halide with uh, potassium hydroxide in aqueous medium, you get an alkene and you get the water there, right? Also, and you get the potassium chloride, KCl. So this is an alkene that you normally get. This is called as an uh, elimination re uh, no, reaction because here hydrogen and the halogen, they are being replaced from the two adjacent carbon atoms and you get an alkene there, right? You can get this reaction, you know, you can get alkenes from the alkyl halides if you react it with strong bases like potassium hydroxide in alcoholic medium. Even you can get the same compound if you react the alkyl halide with the sodium salt of an alcohol, right? Like suppose ethanol, the CH3, CH2, O, N, A, right? This salt, you heat it, right? Again, you get the same product. Or you get the potassium tertiary bit oxide, right? The sodium salt of alcohols, and uh, or you can say the potassium hydroxide in the alcoholic medium. What happens? Elimination reaction occurs there with alkyl halides. So dehydrohalogenation reaction. If you have uh, two beta carbons here, right? You can see here, we have a carbon attached with a halogen. Now you got a beta carbon here. This is another beta carbon. And now in this case, you know, you get, you can expect two products, right? Because if you react with the potassium hydroxide in the alcoholic medium here, now again, the elimination reaction will occur. When hydroxide ion attacks on this particular beta carbon here, and then halogen is lost, then you get a double bond over here, right? That means, in that case, the product that you will expect will be this one. This will be the one pantene, right? But if the hydroxide ion, if this hydroxide ion takes a proton from this you know, beta carbon here, then what will be the product? The product will be over here, right? The double bond will be here. And halogen is lost from here, you get a double bond over here. Okay, so that means in this case, you will get two butene, two pantene, right? This is two pantene and this is one pantene. You expect two products, right? But we have to remember that when, when you have two, uh, you know, when you get two alkenes in the elimination reaction, the product is formed, the major product is formed as per the Sadzef rule, right? The Sadzef rule says the higher the substitution around the alkene, the more the stable it is. That means an alkene with more substitution is a major product because that is more stable. Correct. So you can you can remember it like this also. You can say the hydroxide ion is replaced. You know, hydrogen atom is replaced from the beta carbon with less number of hydrogen atoms. Right. You can see the CH2 here. This is the CH3. So CH2 has a lesser number of hydrogen atoms. So that's why this is the major product. Right. Because there you get a more substituted alkene and that alkene here is more stable. Pantoene is more stable than pantone. All right. So this is the major product and this one will be a minor product here. So you can expect two products here from this molecule because we have two beta carbon atoms. So how to find it? How to find the major you know, product? As per the Sadzef rule, right? As per the Sadzef rule. Now if we have different alkyl halides, this is our tertiary alkyl halide. This is the secondary one, right? This is the tertiary because the carbon attached with the halogen, you know, has three alkyl groups here. And this one has two alkyl groups. And this one has got only one alkyl group. These, you know, uh, alkyl halides have the different reactivities. If you, you know, react with this molecule with the potassium hydroxide in the alcoholic medium, then what will be the product? Halogen from this one and hydrogen from this particular one. So you get a carbon like this, you get an alkene like this, CH3, CH3 here, and double bond CH2, right? And from here, you get the product, halogen from here, and from one of these two, you, know, you can remove the hydrogen atom. Okay, so the product will be like this, CH3, 
CH double bond CH2 right and from here you get you know halogen is from replaced from here hydrogen from here okay so then you get the CH2 double bond CH2 you can see here we have different alkenes as we know that if there is more substitution around the double bond the alkene is more stable so here around this double bond carbon carbon double bond we have two alkyl groups so this is more substituted alkene so it is more stable and this one and this one is more stable than the ethene correct propene is more stable than ethene because here you have one alkyl group higher substitution means more stability so depending on the product we can expect the reactivity of the alkyl halides since you get here in the from the tertiary alkyl halide you get a more substituted alkene which is more stable that means the tertiary will be the most reactive right then secondary then primary so overall we can say the order of the reactivity of the alkyl halides towards the elimination reaction to what is the elimination reaction will be tertiary alkyl halide is more reactive than secondary than primary Now, if you react to this particular molecule with a potassium hydroxide, KOH, or we use any other, you know, sodium salt of an ethanol, a sodium salt of an alcohol, and heat it, then what will happen? Elimination reaction will occur, right? Potassium hydroxide in alcoholic medium, or we use, we can use, you know, the sodium salt of an ethanol, C2H5O, any, and we heat it. In both the cases, elimination will occur. So halogen from this particular carbon now you got the two beta carbon atoms and both the carbon atoms over here have the same number of hydrogen atom we know elimination follows the sets of rule the major product is formed as per the sets of rule so we learned that sets of rule you know how to find the major product if you find if you see a carbon atom with less number of hydrogen atoms right okay that beta carbon replaces the hydrogen so that means from here you have the same number of carbon atoms how do you explain the stability if the hydrogen is lost from here okay from this particular beta carbon then you can expect a product will be like this all right you have a double one here and now if you replace the halogen here and beta carbon from you know beta hydrogen from here okay then you will have a double bond over here and these two carbon atoms are in conjugation right this is a conjugate system so that means resonance will occur and we know the resonance you know stabilizes the molecule and if you have uh, if you if you replace the hydrogen from this particular carbon right from this beta carbon here then you will expect another product that will be like this all right you have a double bond here and now halogen from here hydrogen from here that means you have a double bond over here so it will be over here there's no resonance in this case right no resonance possible but here resonance stabilization is possible this is a conjugate system here so this is more stable than this one that means this product will be a major product here right even though the two carbon atoms have the same number of hydrogen atoms we learned that you know as per the size of rule the major product is formed you know when hydrogen is replaced from the beta carbon with less number of hydrogen atoms right we learned that but now if you have the same carbon atoms you know same number of hydrogen atoms attached to the two beta carbons so you can explain the major product in terms of the stability right right stability of the product if you look to this particular molecule here with the potassium hydroxide in the alcoholic medium koh in the alcoholic medium you can you can expect a different types of products from here right suppose halogen is replaced here and the hydrogen from this particular one as per the size of food because the hydrogen is replaced from the beta carbon with less number of hydrogen atoms right so here we have a one hydrogen here that means you get a product like this right you will have a ch3 here and if you replace the chlorine from here and the hydrogen from here so you get a double bond over here you get a product like this all right but you can also expect another product from this particular one but that's not the size of the product right why because we know that you know hydrogen you can replace it from the carbon from the beta carbon with less number of hydrogen atoms here it has one here it has two so you can expect you are expecting that this will be the major product 
but actually what you get you get a product major product from here right from the ch2 from this one you know you get a double bond over here not from this one expected is this but you get this one right what is the reason right so you get a ch3 here and now you have a double bond over here you are expecting as per the size of fuel we learned that you know hydrogen you will replace from the beta carbon with less number of hydrogen atoms right because this is a more substituted alkene here you have a lesser substitution so this is more stable than this one so you expect this one to be the major product right but in reality this is not the major right this is the minor product the major is this one this is the major product why so it's because for the elimination reactions you know when you replace the two groups right you replace the two groups suppose you replace the chlorine from here and you replace the hydrogen from here from the two adjacent carbon atoms the you know the requirement here is that these two groups that you're going to replace they should be at the 180 degree dihedral angle which means that if the chlorine is above the plane the hydrogen atom should be below the plane look at here the chlorine here is it is below the plane hydrogen it is again below the plane right this is above the, you know below the plane because the methyl group attached to it this one it is above the plane so that means this hydrogen will be from the same traction that you have a chlorine here if you have two groups you know like this this is not the configuration in which uh, you know elimination can occur right this is not suitable for the elimination reaction you need to have the two groups at a 180 degree dihedral angle here the di dihedral angle is zero right so that means this chlorine atom this particular hydrogen atom both are basically having the same direction the dihedral angle between the chlorine and the hydrogen is zero degree so now the only option for this chlorine is that it can replace a hydrogen you know it can be replaced with this hydrogen atom you got two hydrogens one is above the plane the other one is below the plane so that's why this you know product is a major product here all right Hope you got it. Thanks for watching the video. Bye for now.